right, and good morning, beautiful people. This is going to be my first video installment, um, basically since my last one. Duh. Uh, so anyways, I am back in town until Saturday the 20th uh, for spring break. So even though I'm on spring break, still have a ton of work to do. Going to meet some people. Just schedule is pretty slammed. So it's not a relaxing vacation to say the least, but regardless, the show must go on and I'm happy that I can still provide content. I wasn't able to use my actual camera today, so I had to use shoot everything from my phone, so I apologize in advance that the quality from this video is not great. I finally got a charger for my camera, battery set to go, so going forward, the videos will be much better. Anyways, uh, I love training legs. Uh, right now, I'm only training legs once a week, so I prefer the hack squat, the pendulum squat, uh, certain types of leg presses and everything else because they just accommodate like my hip mobility and everything so and I feel it exclusively in my legs not eating up my lower back so before I left I was able to I think I was hack squatting three plates on each side but now I'm only doing uh, about two plates so my strength has decreased significantly I could have pushed it a little bit more but I was still feeling a little bit of discomfort in my lower back so I decided it was better to be smart live to fight another day, and just accumulate volume. Work capacity was good. No other variables were really affecting it. It was just for the fact that I just didn't want to flare up my lower back at the beginning of my trip because then training will be non-existent for the most part. All right, and then I did some straight sets. Typically when I do the leg extensions, I will do um, uh, rest pause sets. So I'll have like a number in my head, 25, 30, 35, never less than 25. I'll get to a pretty decent weight. I'll work anywhere between 10 to 12, 12 to 15 reps, take five second or five breaths, and then keep going. And then after that, I'll go into a loaded stretch position and I'll hold that for 60 seconds. Love it. I mean, it's just a great way to just absolutely destroy your quads, pump them up full of blood, and stimulate them in a very dynamic way. But the machine at this gym actually goes up 60 pounds heavier than the gym at my university. So I took full advantage and just went ham. So. And then I moved on to hamstring curls. I believe this is my top set. So I believe I got seven reps for my top set. When I say I believe, it's because obviously like I shoot a lot of videos and I don't know which one I uploaded. So I always have a top set. That's going to be my heaviest set. That's going to be anywhere between the five to eight, six to eight, or even eight to 10 rep range heavy as possible for that particular designated rep range and then I will do one back offset where I will decrease the weight and try to accumulate more repetitions and thus more volume just trying to trigger growth from multiple different pathways so I am lowering it now so anyways legs are growing definitely excited even though it doesn't matter because I compete in men's physique so it's uh, not really a thing <laughs> All right, this is the next day, my back workout. So for this one, I didn't really have any exercises in my head. I was just, I'm gonna pick four exercises. I'm going to do a heavy top set, and then I am going to do a back off set. I'm gonna to try to use machines that are safe for my back, and I'm gonna to try to use some variety for the things that I don't have available. So here I am doing a pullover. I believe I got 12 reps with 215 pounds, which is, I think, 60 more pounds than what I did last time I was here. So I got significantly stronger. Today's workout was a little hard because one, I injected two CCs into my left leg, a CC of testosterone and a CC of primavolin. And then I did uh, six CCs of uh, acetyl L-carnitine in my right leg and it was painful. So today was a little bit hard, just mainly for that reason in and of itself definitely loving the strength loving where I'm at health wise blood pressure weight everything is where it needs to be I intend on being stage ready and absolutely peeled May 8th I met up with a friend um, back in San Leandro he took a look at my physique and he thinks things are looking great as well now, he's also an MPC competitor I believe he's a pro and he thinks that I'm going to take it <laughs> in the show so we'll see uh, depending on how that show goes I may or may not do one more before I just jump full on the off season to try to get ready for the Arnold. Really love 
these, but the thing is, I feel more of a stretch in my lat when I do it single arm, as opposed to when I do it, you know, with two arms. Definitely because the hand sort of just, instead of coming straight down, like towards your body, it comes down at an angle, like you're pulling it towards your pocket. And this allows me to really engage with my lat. I was able to get, this is 25, one, this is 160 pounds each hand. I got eight reps, I think, on this one. So yeah, training has been going pretty well. Diet has been solid and on point. Weighed in at 210 today. I anticipate that my stage weight will be 190. You know, we'll see what happens because I'll be taking some anti-catabolic agents <laughs> um, starting when I get back home. And we'll see you know, how much weight I can hold on to in terms of muscle as I slowly diet for my next show. But I am really excited. I was on the fence whether or not I was going to follow through. Not that I was going to compete or if I was going to compete in the show, but now it's looking like things are more or less where they need to be. The one machine I wish all gyms had, the chest-supported T-bar row. Absolutely love it. Once again, is that, that's a 20, yeah, that's a 25. So this is 160 as well. This is my top set. For sure, I know I got eight because I was pissed because I wanted to get at least 10. Um, but yeah, like you don't train these movements and then you throw it into the mix. Don't expect miracles, guys. And also be very, very, very smart and intelligent with the way you approach training, especially if you're assisted. You know, you're going to have a lot of strength. You're going to be able to be able to move a lot more weight than what you're used to. And you have to understand that your body needs time to kind of catch up, like especially the musculotendinous junction, which is not going to grow at the same rate as the muscle tissue or the contractile portion of the tissue so just be intelligent be smart try to manage your volume landmarks which means like don't add a superfluous amount of volume just for the sake of making your workouts harder or longer um, work up to a top set maybe the 10 rep range so you're not moving into like the dangerous territory in terms of those loads there's no reason why you should be doing a three rep um on a top set. I mean, that's an option, but I just wouldn't recommend it. You know, it'll probably kill your back offsets in terms of how much weight you can handle. And yeah, if you watch my video from the university, you see at this machine, but you can see at that university, the, the weight stack is to the side, it's to your left. So your hands don't really have that freedom to move where these, my hands, or my arms could actually be slightly straighter and Ideally, this is the machine that you would want to use because it allows you to really engage that mid to posterior deltoid. Definitely love this exercise. Anyways, that's my training footage for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I just wanted to get something up so people know I'm still in the race, waiting at 210. Hopefully, I can drop another 20 pounds before show day. So, anyways, take care. Have a great day, and I will see you again soon.